Hello, Cancer, my darlings, and welcome back to my channel, Luma Moon Tarot. So, Cancer, um, I want to start off your reading today with some channeled messages, okay? This is kind of like everything that Spirit wants you to know, all right? Um, and it, 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 it's going to be a lot, I think, and it's going to be kind of deep. So settle in, Cancer, right? Sit down for all of this and um, just take what resonates. Leave the rest behind, okay? And thank you so much, my darlings, for all of your support. I love you guys right back. Thank you so, so much. Thank you, Cancer, all of my subscribers, everybody new here. I appreciate all of you. I hope, I hope. Um, if no one else tells you that today, Cancer, I'm going to tell you, I appreciate you, okay? Anyway, you guys, before we get started in the actual reading, there's a lot of downloaded messages. Um, I had to kind of write them down, okay, as quickly as I could. So, Cancer, the first message that I got from Spirit was um, they showed me a group of feminine energies, okay, um, just gossiping about you, slandering your name, laughing at you, okay? Or maybe they were laughing at you at one point because spirit is shutting them up, okay? Something about them having to eat their words, something about them, you know, the, the people that laughed at you before or tr mocked you or treated you like a joke or whatever they were doing, they were making fun of you, Cancer. Now these people are like, oh, you know, what do they do next? Which is making these people kind of scramble. Um, scramble to still try to bring you down. It's like they're holding a grudge. Um, you've become like uh, like their personal toy or something um, for entertainment, okay? Like they want to walk all over you. They want to um, they want to ruin your reputation. They want to cause chaos and drama in your life somehow to try to get under your skin. Don't let it affect you, Cancer. Spirit actually said, do not engage with these people. Okay, they're tricky too. Um, so Spirit doesn't, they, Spirit wants you to be careful about the things that you say and the things that you focus on right now. I feel like you're not to let any of these people or any of their laughter or trash talk get under your skin at all right now. Right now, Spirit just wants you to focus on the positive things. Keep your vibrations high. Um, and, you know, honestly, I also wanted to tell you one of the readers that I listened to, you guys, I just listened to part of her reading this morning. Um, one of the reason, uh, readers that I listened to to help me raise my vibrations, and I think she should get more attention for the work that she does, um, her name is Frequency Phoenix 555, right? Um, I absolutely love her pinkies up. Yeah. So, um, yeah, check her out because she really, she's got such a good vibe, such strong energy. Her readings are really very empowering. You know, um, there's so many readings out here on YouTube. And if you're looking for feel-good, empower, empowering messages, man, visit frequency phoenix 555 she's flipping awesome so anything that you can do cancer whether it's listening to tarot whether it's getting out into nature getting out into the sunlight just having a good time um i keep they keep showing the word play in my head right now so um yeah get out there and play cancer okay raise those vibrations and don't let these people and what they're doing behind the scenes get you down Right now, too, we're in a time where the good is winning and the bad are being tossed out, okay? Let's just say it like that, to, uh, simply. The people who are still trying to send you attacks, they're being pushed further and further away from you, all right? And it's, but it's making them angry. It's, it's stirring up a lot of chaos that people can't um affect you anymore people that no spell work is no longer allowed it never was um but it's now it's forbidden and every time every time somebody send, sends you any bad energy cancer um it's going to be returned to sender right away you're protected but it's making these people like if they see it as a challenge okay people see you as a challenge to try to bring you down any way that they can and I feel like there's this, um, it's like a monitoring spirit 
or a negative energy that kind of um this the dark energy is getting upset because you're winning because the good is winning cancer so the dark energy is going to try to um bring you down even quicker even more okay so it's really important too that you keep your vibes high but you also should be doing your home cleansings you should be cleansing your energy regularly okay regularly because it I, even though you're protected the spell work is still going on um there it's it's actually coming in kind of stronger than before okay but the protection that you're under is also um i mean you're being heavily guarded okay so yeah but it's very important to keep that high vibration okay and don't engage with your enemies right now no matter what they say no matter what they do just keep holding your head up high cancer um keep those standards high the, the divine doesn't want you to engage in an argument with a karmic because that's the that would be a karmic pulling you into karmic energy okay um and the spirit wants you to remain pure that goes along with cleansings as well you guys need to keep up with your cleansings as well okay um <clears throat> yeah but it's about to go down that's what um that's pretty much what i was told by my spirit guide yeah and it even says right here don't lower your standard okay don't lower your standards spirit has you now on a pedestal if you start arguing with a karmic um or doing any kind of like karmic activities talking about anyone behind their back right um, wishing bad ill on anyone, wanting any kind of revenge, wanting to jump into an argument and, and chaos, okay, that's karmic -y kind of actions and spirit doesn't want you to do that stuff. You're pure, Cancer. You've been through some kind of purification process and you're pure right now. So um, the divine wants you to stay on your pedestal like stay on your throne didn't i write that on here don't get off your throne that's what they said sorry yeah i'm remembering all of the stuff that they're saying in little blips don't get off your throne cancer no matter what these karmic negative energies do don't get off that throne remember everything you've learned on your journey remember your lessons cancer remember you passed all your tests my darling you've done all this work you've come so far do not let these people get you off your throne okay you're an empress emperor energy yeah because these people here's the thing somebody somebody also feels justified in doing spell work um, another download that I got was, yes, with all of this, um, it's like spiritual warfare going on right now, okay? Um, and it's kind of intense, even though you're like in a protective bubble, you're happy, um, you're on a glow up, you're being protected, but there's a lot going on around you, okay? Um, what was it that I was... Yeah, and these people feel justified in doing the spell work, see, because now you have become the challenge. You've become um, the target, the one that they want to bring down, all right? Uh, and they've, they have, like, zero respect for your throne. Uh, but they do feel justified in doing the spell work. They're going to continue to do it. And so guess what? Spirit is going to continue to punish these people. Yeah, and it, I even wrote down, peer, uh, people want to send you spiritual attacks more than ever. Yes, and it, it, when they do, it instantly backfires. Okay, and there's one last thing, Cancer. Um, I did, they did show me someone who, and it, it feels like a masculine energy, who um, is really overindulging, like they're doing too much of something. It's either drinking, a substance, but they did show me that um, people, they started showing me people just kind of like walking up to a cliff and falling off one after the next, okay? Uh, and I feel like um, one of these things could end up being 
um, a ma some masculine energy. It doesn't have to be an ex. It could be fa an ex-friend, family member, something like that. But they may have an overdose, okay, on something. So people are starting to get their karma. You could even, with, pe with the scene that they showed me, um, people just kind of walking off a cliff. You may hear about people starting to pass away, okay? They're going to get their karma for all the spell work, for all the bad energy they've done, for mocking you, because mocking you, if you're a light worker especially, that's like mocking the divine, okay? And I feel like Cancer, they're showing me that all you're trying to do is move forward, right? So you're moving forward, um, not harming anyone, with no bad intentions for anyone, just wanting to be left alone and live a life of peace, and these people can't stop attacking you. So they're going to start paying karma. They're going to go down, all right? Yeah, see, I feel like spirit has you protected. There's a lot of protection going on. Somebody wants another chance with you as well, Cancer, but they don't know how to come back in, okay? Let's get some tarot on it. You're about to get some messages from someone or they're about to take some kind of action towards you. This could be someone from your past. Um, this first card out here, this is a wish card that's coming in fast, okay? So you may feel someone approaching you very, very quickly, Cancer, and it's got you in protective mode. Um, you may be sensing that someone may be coming to your home and you're like... You've got like your boundaries up, your wall is up here. <laughs> you know, I'm seeing somebody with like 10 locks on their door. Um, there's somebody here that uh, you don't want to deal with anymore. And you can feel it coming in, Cancer. Okay, you can feel this coming in like a comet. Yep, here they come. This is somebody that you've been in separation with for a long time, no communication. They've been slow as molasses, moving on, um, coming towards you and doing the right thing. You know, this is the slowest moving night in the deck. You could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, maybe a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Yeah, and here, heavy Capricorn energy. They're coming out in toxic devil energy, Cancer. I do not like this at all. Yeah, see, this is somebody who I feel like they juggled you with someone else. They put you in some kind of third party, started some kind of competition between you and someone else, treated you like an option, sacrificed you in a third party. Yeah, they turned their back on you, Cancer. This is somebody who could have had a lot of secrets as well. Um, this is somebody who could have some toxic addictions, okay? They could be a heavy drinker. They could do some kind of substance. They're in a whole lot of regret, I feel, like, because they know that you're the one for them. You're in the Queen of Pentacles throne, wifey energy. But there's this silence between you that they can't stand. And um, you're very intuitive, Cancer, very tapped into the divine. I'm seeing you in this high priestess, em empath, psychic energy. Okay, you could, you could possibly even be a tarot card reader, a spiritualist. You could have your own spiritual business, something like that. It could be even something on the side like a side business that you do, and it could have made you a lot of money here because I'm seeing you as being financially stable, independent. This person's in a whole lot of regret, man. They know that you're the one for them or that they should have chosen you or they should be with you. The silence between you is driving this person crazy. Okay, they're having this major tower moment here, Cancer, this realization that I feel like it's done, it's over. Yep, you've got your boundaries up and you're not backing down. You're moving on. Chariot energy, having a victory. Um, this person didn't know your value. 
okay? They didn't know you were, a, you're a high value individual, okay? And they put you through it, you know, with the chariot card, um, you've been put through a battle and you've healed. You're everything to this person. Now look at you, ooh, cancer. Yeah, you're up on a, I feel like this person in their mind, they've put you up on a pedestal. Why they've taken so long to come in, I don't know. They're in a whole lot of regret now. I feel like they can sense that you're leaving them behind. Like they're not going to get another chance here. And I feel like that's like a, it's a sudden realization that they, they missed their shot. They missed out on you. They missed out on probably, I feel like you're, you're maybe the most successful person that they know of now, you know, because you're, you're coming through with a lot of success here, Cancer. Yeah, now they want to get back together. See, but this is, they want another chance, Cancer, but they don't know what to do because, um, because this person really screwed you over too much in the past. Yeah, I feel like, um, yep, they found out, whoever they chose over you, Cancer, I feel like this person found out that they were cheating, okay, they were cheating on this person, or they were put in a third party. Yeah, they were told the truth by somebody here. Um, King of Wands Energy, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. You know, this person could also be um, kind of watched by the police right now. They're going through some major karma. I feel like they've got some addictions as well. <gasps> no. No, it's not the police that they're talking to, Cancer. It could be a doctor. This person has um, an STD. So they found out that they've been cheated on because they uh, found out they have a really bad STD. That's what they're being informed of here. Yep, so now they feel betrayed. They've got an STD. I don't even know if it's incurable or not. It may not, they may not be able to cure it. Okay? They may not be able to cure it because um, whatever they're hearing about this STD, they're not liking that. It's not good news, okay? Um, so yeah, they've got an STD. They were cheated on. That karmic situation is coming to an end, man. They thought that they would have it maybe better. Yeah, look, this person was all kinds of bragging about you, or uh, ending things with you, Cancer. I feel like they were laughing about it. They were bragging about how much um, they hurt you. They could have been bragging about how much you were struggling or how vulnerable they left you. Okay? They were, they were laughing about things coming to an end with you, Cancer. They, they could have chosen this Queen of Wands just to make you jealous. Just to toy with you because it fed this person's ego at one point. You know, they, and they did this. They, I feel like they, they could have been a partier, a heavy drinker. This person could be like an alcoholic. Okay. And in their partying and, and, and wanting you to suffer, I feel like they chose this queen of wands over you. And she, you know, the queen of wands, she's going to go after whatever she sees is shiny. Okay. The queen of wands, if she sees someone more attractive or somebody who's, who's going to um, give her more, she's going to go with the, with the next person. So I feel like that's what she did. She was promiscuous, and she, and she slept around, and she gave this masculine an STD. Yeah, they're not laughing anymore, Cancer. I feel like this masculine was laughing because you were suffering, struggling, hurting over them. They were bragging about it to all their drinking buddies. Okay, they picked up this Queen of Wands in some bar somewhere, I feel. Yeah, they're not laughing anymore. She, um, yeah, she was given to others, Cancer. 
And she could have just wanted to be with your person for money anyway, okay? There's a lot of, um, I feel like that there's, there's a lot of talk about money, it seems like, in this mention of money here. So I feel like, she, you know, she, um, she went after this masculine because he was shelling out the dough, okay? And he let you walk away, and you're the one holding the cup of love. That's the holy grail. You were the holy grail of love for this person. All you did was love them, and you were like, oh, you were, you're going to get hooked up with this queen of wands? Okay, fine. I'll, I'll just leave. I'll leave your life then. And that's what you did. That's exactly what you did. And now this person is, um, they're, they're angry, they're upset, they're, um, they're sad, they're very emotional, uh, you know, all because they, they pretty much pushed you away. And now you're gone and you're doing better than they ever would have expected cancer. This person did not expect you to succeed. They didn't expect you to ever have a victory. Okay, I feel like this person just kind of saw you as like in peasant clothing, having a, maybe having a lot of responsibilities or obligations. You know, you could have been a single parent here. Um, you were more focused on your, your kids and doing for your kids. You know, if you, did, if you don't have children, you weren't fancy. You're, you're very humble. You know, you were all about love, Cancer. How do I show you love? How do I give you my love? How can I make you feel loved and comfortable and nurtured? And, you know, you wanted to, you really lavished love on this person. And they, they treated you, like, miserably. And then they laughed about it and bragged about it. This, yeah, you don't want this person back. Um, I feel like you, you're not offering them your cup anymore. Your back is turned. You're closing out a cycle here brilliantly. Okay, in a lot of confidence. You're healed. You're over them. And they can't stand it. And I feel like this is someone, too, whose addictions are kind of getting out of control. Um, way out of control. Like, I'm seeing this person drinking a lot. Yeah, here's another drink in their hand. Did this I feel like this person all they do is drink. But now you um you, now that you're leaving, this person is just they're falling apart. Okay? They feel very stuck. They're seeing you from a whole new perspective now. They want to change their mind. They want another chance. They want to come back around. They're very emotional. Yeah, now they want to choose you, Cancer, but you've left this person to carry their own burdens, okay? They're very burdened by the, every time they laughed at you, that's another burden. For every time that they snickered and bragged about hurting you, that's another burden. Now they're burdened with an STD as well, okay? That I don't think I think it's an incurable STD. I gotta say, there's no cure to it. Whatever they found out about that, it's not making them happy. Okay, this person is a they manipulate. I feel like they're watching you. This is somebody who stalks you, wants to find out whatever they can about you, wanting to manipulate the outcome here, manipulate you, get in your head, right, um, so that they can have another chance. But this person has not healed from their toxicity. They still have whatever addiction this is. They're still way up in their ego. This is somebody who's smug cancer. Someone who has made fun of you for suffering. And now they're suffering. They're getting their karma. Yeah, look, I feel it. Yeah, woo-hoo-hoo-hoo. -hoo -hoo. Cancer, this person cannot come towards you. Okay, that's why they want a chance, but there's so much confusion here. That's why they want to choose a path, but all, all they have is the Ten of Wands and the, and the Hangman. They're stuck because Spirit is blocking this person from coming in. Okay, they can't come back in. They can't, um, they can't bring any more chaos and drama to your life.
they can't hurt you anymore. This is, this is another person that uh, Spirit is saying, do not let this person get under your skin. Remain on your throne, right? Stay on your throne, Cancer. And don't, because this person comes with nothing but toxicity and baggage, okay? And um, burdens and manipulation and devil energy. This person, they are making a wish for you. They want to come back around, but they've done too much. Okay? They've, they've laughed too much. They've snickered too much. They've said too much about you. They've slandered too much, lied too much, manipulated. So, Cancer, you're having this new beginning. You're stepping through a portal here. This is the closing of the last cycle and a beginning to a new one. And you're starting the new cycle with the chariot. Nothing can stop the chariot. So, Cancer, basically what we have here is your future is limitless now. All you have to do is focus on the right stuff. Okay, focus on the positive things. Don't get off your throne. Don't lower your standards for karmic people trying to cause chaos. And know that you're protected from, this, from the, um, any kind of spell work being sent your way. Cleanse your energy. Keep your vibrations very positive. This is very positive energy here. Okay, high vibing. But Cancer with the chariot, the only one that can stop the chariot is God. All right, and with the world of, of, with the world, I wanted to say the wheel of fortune. With the world here, Cancer, the world is like your oyster right now. So, and if nothing can stop the chariot and the world is your oyster, Cancer, your future is limitless. Okay, um, it is. Just remain positive and determined to move forward. All spirit wants you to do is keep your vibes high and continue to be to be moving forward on the right path. They don't want you rubbernecking. They don't want you to veer off your path and get engaged in any karmic spats, karmic whatever, the gossip. They don't want you to engage in that. They just want you to keep moving straight forward. Don't rubberneck, <laughs> okay? Straight forward, Cancer. That's what you gotta do to make it through this portal and start a whole new life. All right, some of you could even be making a house move soon. If it hasn't happened to you, it's going too soon. So you may wanna start packing, Cancer. But yeah, Spirit has, whoever this is, they are blocked. They can no longer come towards you. If this um, had any kind of like soulmate connection, that connection is being severed. Okay, because no more toxic energy is allowed near you. And this person like walks hand in hand with the devil. Yeah, um, let me get some advice and then you guys, I'm going to take this over to Patreon. I want to kind of see what's coming up for you in the future. Okay, because, you know, I... I, I feel like there's there's nothing left to this connection. Now that spirit is pushing this person away, they, they cannot come in with any more revenge. They, they can, no more spell work. Cancer is going to work on you. It's going to bounce off and affect them. It already is. Um, and I feel like all they can do is watch you. So I want to see what's coming up for you in the future because you're moving forward really fast. Okay. And there's a whole new life here that's opening up for you. A whole new cycle. Yeah, see, this person that wants to come back around, they can't anymore, Cancer. It's done. This is, um, this is over and done. Death card. And honestly, you guys, I feel like somebody may even, uh, you know, I hate to say this, but somebody... And it doesn't have to be this person, but I'm, 
I'm picking it up on it again. Someone is going to, you may find out that someone passes away. It may not be your ex. It could be an ex-friend. It could be an ex-family member. It could be an ex-coworker. But I feel like someone is going to pass away. Okay. Um, it could be an addiction, like they OD on something. Yep, Cancer, I feel like Spirit is leading you, pointing you in a new direction here. It, there's a cycle that's closing out with a 10, and they want you to stay on the right path with a 3. They don't want you looking back. Do you see this? They don't want you looking back. They only, they're pointing forward. Because <laughs> Cancer, you have earned your crown. Spirit celebrating you on the 5D here for everything that you've accomplished for all your hard work. And so they don't want you looking back. Keep moving forward, Cancer. Do not look back and don't, what, no matter what happens, no matter what happens next, Cancer, do not get off your throne, okay? Ooh, Cancer, you're walking straight into new love. So um, in this new cycle, probably, I feel like it's gonna happen within a month or so. Um, you may meet someone new, and this is going to be a loyal person for you. I kind of get the sense that one that you're leaving behind is a karmic individual. With the two crowns here, here's your crown. This is you. Here's the masculine energy with the crown on. I feel like you are about to meet the right one for, for you. Possibly a twin flame, Okay. Um, and you're, you're going right there because you've learned your lessons, because you did the work. So spirit is like, remain focusing, uh, keep focusing on the stuff that you want in your future, the high vibing stuff, the good stuff. Do not engage in karmic activities and fights. You don't need to anymore, Cancer. Spirit is taking care of, like spirit, I don't want to say taking care of your enemies, Spirit is um, giving your enemies karma. You don't have to say a word to your enemies anymore. Spirit's handling that. Okay? So they just don't want you to get off your throne. You've come too far for that, and you're crossing through a, a, the portal here. So keep that crown straight. Stay on your throne no matter what happens. And know that um, whoever has hurt you or sent you bad energy in the past cancer, they are getting their karma. And some of, some of these people are getting the worst karma. I mean, here's the thing. If somebody was sending you spell work to unalive you, cancer, that's, that spell work is coming back on them times three. Okay? If somebody sent you um, spells to or bad energy to get you confused, that confusion is coming back on them times three or ten. Sometimes it's even bigger. <laughs> um, but yeah, whatever they sent to you, cancer is coming back on them. If some of these people wanted you out of the picture altogether, guess what's going to happen to them? So cancer, you're about to find out the kind of severe karma that that these people are getting and i feel like spirit spirit's not only trying to get sorry about that cancer spirit is trying to prepare you for what you're about to witness okay some of these people's karma is the worst karma that you can possibly imagine okay some of these people may even just be taken out of the picture because they won't stop relentlessly attacking you. Um, and the spells that they have sent, the bad energy and intentions that they've sent towards you, Cancer, have been the worst. Okay? Now, there may be a part of you who's going to feel kind of bad for some of these people's karma because it is going to be that bad, Cancer. And come on, let's face it, you're the sweetheart of the Zodiac. Okay? You have a loving heart, so you don't want to see people suffer. You really don't. Um, you know, you don't. No matter what you've been through, you're, you, never, you never want to see anyone suffer, but these people are going to suffer. So that I feel like spirit is trying to either prepare you for what you're about to see or tell you not to look at all, because it's going to be bad. 
like the karma that they get afterwards, the aftermath is going to look like a train wreck. Okay? So, yeah, Cancer, um, just either prepare yourself or don't look at all. Because I feel like they really all spirit wants you to do is focus on the good stuff that's coming in. Okay? And that's what we're going to go through on Patreon, you guys. Anyway, um, I hope this helps. I hope it resonates. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel, Cancer. And if you're interested in the extended, there's a link to follow in the description box below that'll take you straight to Patreon. And I'll be there in a little while, you guys. You got to give me time to do the video and load it, okay? <laughs> um, yeah, I just don't want it, like, I don't want you guys to be waiting for me over there and being disappointed. It, it takes me a little while. So anyway, Cancer, I love you. I hope this helps. And until next time, my darlings, take care of you and peace out.